really quick, if you're waiting on my Game of Thrones history videos, in the video description below, there is a link to the one I'm going to release on Sunday, which is the Iron Islands History Part 1, and you can check that out if you've been patiently waiting, or even if you haven't been patiently waiting. This is Game of Thrones news for the past weekish. I mean, don't get on me about exact dates, but this is the news that stood out to me and I wanted to share with you. First off, and I feel like most importantly, the showrunners have stated that season seven of Game of Thrones will not premiere in April of 2017, and it will be pushed back just a little bit. And they explain this saying, we don't have an air date yet, but this year it'll probably be a bit later. We're starting a bit later because, you know, the end of the season, winter is here, and that means that sunny weather doesn't really serve our purposes anymore. So we kind of pushed everything down the line, so we could get some grim gray weather even in the sunnier places that we shoot. Whether that means season 7 will premiere in May 2017 or sometime later in the summer is to be seen. They also reconfirmed what we already know, there's only going to be two more seasons of Game of Thrones, and we're heading towards the end game. Interestingly though, they did state there's been a huge thing going around that, oh, there's only going to be seven episodes this season, eight this. They said that as of right now, they don't have a definite set of episodes and they're still working with that. And while yes, there will be less than 10 episodes in season seven and eight, they don't have a definite number yet. On the topic of a Game of Thrones prequel, the showrunners said that they're very busy right now. They haven't given much thought into it. And right now they're just focusing on finishing up the Game of Thrones show. So if you're holding out for a prequel and Anytime soon, it's likely going to be a few years before they even start planning to do something like that. Oh, and they confirmed that a certain bastard is still rowing and he's coming up on Florida. In an interview with Marjorie's actress, Natalie, she revealed that they gave her Marjorie's wedding crown as a parting gift and it now sits on her bookshelf. She also stated that she knew she was going to die as they get their scripts all at once which contradicts some of the actor's statements. There have been some that said they get all of it at once and others that say they don't really know, it's just episode by episode, but maybe how much the script they get just depends on the actor. On her character, she believes that Marjorie was a good person and wanted to communicate that good people can be in positions of power. She confirmed what a lot of us suspected. Her lines about how she was good at seeming good was something she already knew about herself, but she was lying and mixing in a bit of truth to manipulate Tommen and others. She also stated that she became very devout to the faith to save Loris' life and limit damage to those she cares about. She also revealed that her last day of filming was actually the scene between her and her grandmother where she slips her the picture of a rose, and she thought it was very fitting that her very last scene was her hugging another actor goodbye. On to Sophie Turner, she is also as worried as some of us about Sansa enjoying Ramsay's death. Not that he didn't deserve some awful things to happen to him. But the actor stated, I think what people should be maybe a bit weary of is how much she seemed to enjoy it. I think Sansa could maybe develop a taste for killing. Which I'm, I'm not really sure. I always take her interviews with a grain of salt because she says some pretty weird things at times that really doesn't match up with her show character or the book character. But I could see Sansa maybe becoming a little bit more vengeful and aggressive, but actually enjoying killing people, I don't think that's ever going to happen. And maybe that's what she meant and it just came across a bit off. On the end scene where Jon is declared King of the North, she believes that her character had jealousy towards Jon. He was getting all the credit for basically Sansa saving his ass. Sophie believes that while Sansa isn't gunning for the Iron Throne anytime soon, she realizes that Littlefinger might be a better ally than she previously thought. And a more trustworthy one. Thankfully, she doesn't believe her character is dumb enough to ever follow him blindly. On Ramsay's line, I'm a part of you now, she feels people took that a bit too literally, thinking that it meant she was pregnant. She believes that if she was pregnant by now, she would have had a bit of a baby belly as they did their campaign around the North trying to get houses on their side for a few months, and she definitely, she would have been showing. She thinks that line was more of saying, I really fucked with you, I did some horrible things to you, and, and even if I'm gone, I'm always gonna live in your head, you're, you're always going to be scarred by this. But she also believes that Sansa's character will easily forget about Ramsay, especially now that she killed him, so I don't know. That's back to that taking a pinch of salt. I personally don't think you can go through what Sansa went through and then just easily forget about that person. You can try to, but 
usually things like that haunt you for a very long time. She also confirmed that John did in fact share with Sansa him dying and being resurrected and she freaked out just as much as the rest of us. And she thinks that learning about John's true biological parents will actually build some bridges between them as she always took her mother's side with John being a bastard and something just dishonorable and terrible and should not be treated like her family. Lastly, for all you Johnsa shippers, Sophie has said that most likely John and Sansa will never get together and that they would have a really hard time consummating their marriage. Uh, if you want me to show you how to do that, I would... I, w I will volunteer. I shouldn't have said that that was inappropriate for YouTube. You need to edit that out. Meanwhile, the actor that plays Littlefinger isn't convinced Littlefinger actually wants to sit the Iron Throne, and that he may have lied to Sansa or said things just to push her buttons and get the maximum effect from her. He also isn't too worried about Sansa and Jon hearing that he betrayed Ned, as he believes he can spin it and explain that it isn't exactly what they heard. Especially given that not many saw him hold the knife to Ned's throat, and the story may have been twisted dozens of ways by now. Some of the most exciting news was from Bran's actor, Isaac, who said that it's Bran's priority right now to get to Jon and share with him his biological parents. Hurry the hell up, Bran. We need more Stark reunions. He also believes that we will be seeing Benjen again in future episodes, so I am just beside myself with happiness. On the flip side, Maisie, Arya's actress, in an interview said that she hopes that Arya never reunites with her family because they're all so different now. You shut the fuck up, Maisie. If you're lucky enough to have San Diego Comic-Con tickets, Game of Thrones will be there again this year. Their panel includes the showrunners and the actors for Samuel Tarly, Davos, Masande, Bran, Varys, The Waif, Hodor, Ramsay, and Sansa. There will also be signings. If you can't attend the event, people are really good at updating you on panels, and the Game of Thrones Twitter account will likely be tweeting out the important things. Lastly, on show news, the directors for Season 7 have been announced, and if you want to see who will be directing episodes in Season 7, you can check my video description below where I have a link that will take you to that article. Lastly, let's end on George R. R. Martin updates. A fan asked him if the princes and princesses of Dorne wear crowns, and he responded, I suspect they wear something crown-like on formal occasions. You sound very sure about that, George. <laughs> Thank you. Lastly, George R. R. Martin announced he will be at Worldcon in Kansas City August 17th to 21st, and he'll be doing four book signings. If asked if him attending this event meant a certain announcement would be coming, George replied, Oh, please, stop with that nonsense. Yes, stop with that nonsense. None of us care about the book anymore. He also revealed that he does sign Kindles, so if you're into that sort of thing, and that the weirdest thing he was ever asked to sign was a baby, which he declined. So that is Game of Thrones news that I picked out for the past weekish. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, it helps the channel out a lot, and even if you don't like this channel, then, uh, god. You really sat through this entire video and you don't like this channel? You are fucking intense. Come back for more Game of Thrones videos, Star Wars videos, comic videos, and like I said, if you are waiting on my Game of Thrones history video, check out the video description below to see Iron Islands Part 1. Thank you for watching and... Catchy ending phrase. Realize I'm a total fucking nerd by now. Why the fuck are you subscribe to this channel? <laughs> <laughs>